Okay, so there is this new feature in Affinity Designer 1.7, which is ideal for your workflow, and I want to talk about it because it's super useful. Let's see it in this video. So here we are with Affinity Designer 1.7, and I have here my artwork, and I'm going to talk about a feature that is called Cycles. Future. So it's going to be working within the history panel. And as you can see in here, I have my artwork and I'm going to start working. Well, I'm going to keep on working and say, I want this different. And so I'm going to add here a node and I'm going to change a bit the shape of my plane. I now decide that I may want this instead of green. I want it, uh, whatever, pink. Nice. <laughs> now my propeller, I want to make it slightly uh, smaller, something like this. And obviously, we all know what the history panel does. These steps I'm taking are reflected here. So now I have a moment in which I am thinking, okay, I love this version, but I have some other ideas. I would like to keep it. So until now, we had what is called snapshots. And if you still don't know what snapshots are, just check this other tutorial of mine where I show you all about them. You can find the link on the top right corner now. And so with snapshots, you can store document states in just one document instead of just saving copy one, copy two, copy three, you know. So this is slightly different. What this is going to do for you, the cycle features, is basically preventing history to be lost after editing from undos. So you might be wondering, how does this work? Now I'm gonna show you. So back to our canvas, you can see I made these changes to my artwork. And as you probably know, traditionally, when you go back and undo history, and then you add some more steps, all of your changes after that point are going to be lost. So back to 1.7, you're not gonna have that problem anymore. So you remember we made these changes, and now I think, okay, I wanna go back and explore the other path. So I go back some steps in my history, say somewhere like uh, here, I have my original. Now I want to keep exploring, say I want another wheel and I put it somewhere here like so. And look at the panel. Now see this icon here? This is what it's called cycle future. And as you can see in the icon itself, you have one path and another branch, which is telling you, you have another solution going on for you there. So we are back to the original one, making our changes. I click now on the icon and I again get a display of all the steps I took until I arrived here. So this means I can explore both versions, one here and one there. And last but not least, it's important to say that even though you have two branches here and you can make two different versions of it, if you get into one of those versions, you can contain more versions within itself. Okay. So I just have to click on it and get another history displayed for this third version and so forth. You can make as many iterations as you need. Okay. So it'd be great for me to know now, if you're planning to use this feature, how do you find it? If you're going to include it in your workflow, how do you find it in comparison to the snapshot? And of course, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, to check my other videos, my upcoming videos, and of course, my classes that you're going to find all the information about in the description for this video. See you in the next video.